my name is Marko Babiuk. I am a urologist from Prague. My main interest is uh, uh, bladder cancer and uh, I'm in general oncourology but mainly uh, bladder cancer and in this moment I am uh, the chairman of the uh, guideline panel on non-muscle invasive bladder cancer of the EAU. Yeah, BCG, we know that BCG is uh, today the best intravesical treatment, uh, the most effective intravesical treatment. Uh, we also know that uh, in patients with uh, uh, high risk or intermediate risk non-muscle invasive bladder cancer can reduce the risk of tumor progression. And this is the only treatment which can reduce this risk. Uh, so, it is effective treatment, but on the other hand, we know that BCG has uh, its limitations. First, it is not effective in all patients. We know that uh, in patients with T1 grade 3 tumors correctly treated with BCG, uh, the, the, the disease-related uh, mortality still is more than 10%, a little bit more than 10%. So, the patient, even in spite of BCG, may progress. Uh, we also know that BCG has several side effects, so its toler tolerability is not perfect. Uh, there are some subgroup of patients who simply cannot tolerate BCG treatment and the treatment must be stopped. And uh, moreover, we don't have enough BCG today. Uh, we are uh, facing the uh, BCG shortage all over the world, so apparently we don't have enough BCG for all indicated patients uh, in the world, and uh, this is probably will be the same situation in the near future. So uh, we need uh, to have something potentially better than BCG. We need to have something uh, uh, what is uh, has less side effects and what is uh, has better availability uh, uh, than BCG. Moreover, we have a problem that uh, with the treatment of patients who recur after BCG uh, and we need to find some treatment uh, which would be effective even in this group of patients. So this is uh, really the unmet need to have also the better treatment for these kind of patients who, who recur after BCG or who don't respond to BCG. And finally, we also need to have better prognostic criteria. We cannot in this moment uh, uh, individually decide uh, about the treatment uh, and to decide about individual prognosis in these patients, So, which is probably also a very significant unmet need for us. You know, there are the most uh, new treatments are uh, today uh, considered for BCG unresponsive patients. It means the patients who fail after BCG treatment or recur after BCG treatment. And uh, there are a couple of new modalities which are under uh, consideration or under under the testing. Uh, there was a recently published very interesting paper about the uh, uh, results of uh, nadofaragin firadenovac, which is gene therapy. It is the adenovirus vector which, which uh, introduced the, the um, gene for interferon alpha into the, the urothelia and, and tumor cells. So the cells start to produce their own interferon, which has anti-tumor efficacy. Uh, the study showed uh, the uh, more than 50% response rate between uh, between patients with P with uh, BCG unresponsive carcinoma in situ, which is a very interesting result. I hope we uh, will have available some cytotoxic drugs. I don't think it will be the simple chemotherapy. It may be the combination of chemotherapies or uh, preferentially probably new drug deliveries, including uh, the, the device-assisted installations, which uh, are 
uh, quite uh, already quite frequently used by urologists or some new uh, new kinds of deliveries which try to improve the delivery of, of the chemotherapy or uh, or even the access of the drug into the cells. So we hope in this field, I expect uh, some new game players in the future, but we don't know. There are also several studies which try to combine the local and systemic treatment. So potentially in the most aggressive tumors, the best approach will be the combination of systemic immune checkpoint inhibitors, for instance, uh, together with some local intravesical treatment. We will see. Okay, I certainly don't know how the EMA will decide and uh, I'm in, not informed about details in this way. But what we know on one side, the, the Keynote 057 uh, showed the efficacy of, of systemic PEMBRO uh, in BCG unresponsive patients. Uh, there was 40%, uh, more than 40% uh, uh, response rate in, in uh, and quite durable response rate in patients with BCG unresponsive carcinoma in situ. On the other hand, it was confirmed only on less than 100 patients, so, so the patient population was quite limited. So I can imagine that Emma uh, will be relatively careful uh, with this decision. Uh, but anyhow, as I already said, I believe that in this field we will be uh, watching a lot of new in the future and uh, I personally believe that there still will be, the, will be the role of local treatment not only of systemic treatment so that these, uh, these tumors will be treated locally or in combination of local and systemic therapy. 